Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Mana! This is your ever low boss, Shadow Blade 730, and this last time I did do a little bit of grinding, um, just enough to pick up a little bit of equipment. Um, I went ahead and I bought an elbow pad for both Prim and Randy. And also for Randy, I went ahead and bought the chain vest, um, just to give him a little bit more defense. Because honestly, 3 defense wasn't really cutting it for me, so yeah, up to 10, not nearly as good as the Kung Fu dress. But still, really, really good. So let's see if we can make our way to Gaia's Naval. Uh, I did think about just constantly changing um, weapons so that everybody can get max weapons. But I'm just going to stay for a couple because getting max weapons can be a little tedious. But not terrible. I don't know. I may do it. Here we get some candy. Much needed. <clears throat> like I said, we're not going to have to access to any kind of magic for quite some time. So yeah, we just have to use healing items for our healing. Now, in the sequel, um, Second Setsu 3, or Trials of Mana, yeah, actually, this was the second mana game. First one was, uh, ooh, Prim got level 5. Very nice. Now, we're both level 5. Yeah, I actually gained a level for everybody. So, like I said, Randy was up to level 5, Prim was level 4. Now, she's level 5, so hopefully Randy gets level 6. Anyway, where I was. Yeah, this is actually the second mana game in the mana series. The first one was um, the Final Fantasy um, Adventure, which, oh, Here's a little trick, like I said, if you don't get right on the actual treasure chest, it's kind of hard to open, but yeah, first game was the Final Fantasy Adventure, not to be confused with Final Fantasy Legends, which also wasn't a Final Fantasy series, um, but I guess they figured with the success of Final Fantasy that if they just called it Final Fantasy, it would sell more copies, but nope, it was a mana game, but whenever they actually had this series and wanted to release it in the United States because of its success, they figured, well, we just call it the uh, Secret of Mana. Not even consider a sequel. So that was really, really confusing for a lot of games. They did that for a lot of games. Final Fantasy, um, with the Saga series for sure, because we didn't even get known that it was a so those were Saga games until much, much later. And then, you know, like I said, God forbid what happened with Final Fantasy VI and Final Fantasy IV. We actually two and three in the West, and yeah, I'm not gonna get to that. <laughs> Anyways, let's make our way to guys navel. Just gonna kill a bunch of creatures here. Um Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with the sword right now. Um really don't wanna switch up, switch up, switch up. The only problem is um Prim really isn't too um privy to actually going to guys navel. She really wants to go to the forest to defeat the witch Elaine, but I don't wanna go there until I get a little bit of help. So yeah, we're gonna see what happens. Hopefully she isn't too angry at us for kind of deviating from her path. Now, as I said earlier, you really don't need Prim right now. Um, I chose to get her just so she can get a couple levels. As opposed to just having everything solely put on Randy's shoulders for so much. Um, but yeah, she's technically, I guess you could almost have her as her your um, third party member. Have her really behind, but it's not that bad, I guess. Kill these Busbies. Busbies actually give quite a bit of gold and experience, so they're pretty nice. But we're going to be getting a quite a, bu a bunch of experience anyway so, in the upcoming dungeon. Now you notice that this area has different levels. Where you can actually use a physical attack to attack a creature on a different level. Unless it's a range attack, which I don't think we have any range attacks, but we will soon enough. Let's open this treasure chest and we get... Oh, poison needles, crap. Yeah, this game in the trap treasure chest. Ugh. Get rid of this Busby. Now if you notice when the Busby is actually down... You can still hit him, but if he's getting up in any kind of way, he is immune to damage, so don't waste your strikes. No, excuse me. That was a good burp. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's see what she has to say about going into Gaia's Naval! Oh, blats. Uh, no, we have to go here to get some help. Um, yeah, I want to go to the Underground Palace. Uh, yeah, let's go to the forest. But I don't want to go to the forest. Yeah, it's one of those but thou must moments, but you know what? Heck with you. I'm going to get some more help. Because Gemma told me to go to the Underground Palace and go find out about Guy's Naval and find somebody to forge this sword. Well, bye then. Yeah, yeah. this is the moment where actually Prim does leave. But you got a couple um, moments to kind of level up and get some stats on her. Now, um, do not sell her gear because she will be coming back. Like I said, this game is four party members. So, I mean, three party members. So, yeah, do not get um, rid of her stuff. Um, here we have a new enemy, Blats. Be careful because they can um, cast a spell that gives you the balloon status. Which basically looks like a balloon on top of you and you can't move or anything. It's really annoying, but eh, just get rid of them. We have more enemies, Goblins, like we saw before, that captured us. And those green jellies, stay away from them. 
Don't worry about killing them just yet because they are really, really annoying. As you strike them, they'll split and split and split until there's three of them. And if you kill any of them, the other ones can split and split new ones. It's just, it's ridiculous. Yay, got another level. More HP, more better. All right, let's get rid of this goblin. Goblins really aren't that tricky. Now, when they're running around, they can throw boomerangs and hit you with their axe. They can be really annoying. But once you keep them down, and just as soon as they pop up, you should be at 100%. And just keep whacking them. That, not that difficult. At least not these goblins. Okay, just whack them up. Wait for them to pop up. Bam, hit them again. There we go. And they can drop treasure chests. I believe their treasure chests either drop money or I think they can drop candies. But um, I don't know about blats. I don't think I've ever seen a blat drop any kind of chests. But you definitely want to get rid of them because, yeah, when they put the balloon status on you, it's really, really annoying. <laughs> can't do anything. Can't attack. Can't block. Can't do anything. But I don't think blats can actually attack. And if they do, it's not that much damage. Especially not with our items, our equipment that we have right now. See, I'm gonna get ballooned. See, puts a little balloon on me. Even though he's dead, I can't do anything. I can't move until the balloon status goes away. Now later on, there is a spear upgrade you can get that allows you to have your spear inflict the balloon status. And that is really, really fun because like I say it can take an enemy completely out of the battle and just be really, really nice. Okay, get rid of that kid. Oh, they're not goblins, they're kid goblins. So we're running around here killing children. Man, this game has some great morality to it. <laughs> Let's kill another kid. <laughs> another kid goblin. I mean, they're sending their kids to fight. I mean, how awful goblins can be. Now you notice there's this little skull. You swipe it with your sword. It opens another passageway. Very nice. Let's see what oh, this opened up real quick. Let's head down here. You notice now we have that little ledge right there. Now we can walk across. Now be careful, there is another blad over there. But also, it put the lava away, so now you can cross where that hot lava was. Yeah. Also, I like to do, like, even if I'm not at 100%, I like to hit at a lower percentage. That way, at least you can knock them down and prevent them from doing anything. And kind of get them in like almost like a, a, a status lock. Let's see. Uh, let's head down here first. Now, watch out here. Um, we don't want to wake up both goblins, but bad enough that we have to deal with him. And uh, oh, okay, they're all awake. Okay, this is going to be kind of difficult. See if we can get rid of that one goblin at least. Alright, one goblin's out. Now we gotta worry about the mush bloom. Hey, he did drop a treasure chest. Very nice. Uh, yeah. Kid goblin should be about dead. Very well. Let's see what's in the treasure chest. Hopefully it's nothing bad. And we get... Hey! Some money! Money's never a bad thing. <laughs> Unless you talk about later on after you do some grinding, then money becomes a little less. Ooh, here we go. You know what? Definitely want to enter this room. The treasure room. In the first treasure room you actually encounter. Kill okay, well, two kid goblins guarding this treasure. Hopefully they can drop a treasure. But if they don't, that's all right. Found a death now. And inside this treasure chest, we get um some magic rope. Can I have? Can I have one of those shiny new daggers? No, 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 no. That's that's different. That's different franchise. Oh crap! Green jelly. I don't like green jelly. This is the band green jelly. Those guys were crazy back in the day. Oh crap! Two blats. All right, just, just don't freaking balloon me. Okay, that blat should almost be dead. There we go. One blat dead. Okay, knock him down. That way you can't balloon me. We set him. Oh! Yeah, blats are probably the more. Besides the green jellies, green jellies are definitely the most annoying enemies. Also, do not like blats. Let's see what's over here. Alright, another green jelly. Oh, you know what? I'm not gonna worry about you. I'm not gonna worry about you. Head down here. I'm actually doing pretty good. I'm pretty good on HP. I haven't really lost much. I'm doing really good here. Not that this area is really difficult. It just has some really annoying creatures in it. No, I know I can move. Come on. It's the only way down. You have to get around these rocks. These rocks are kind of just just annoying. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's kill the kid goblin. Because they give really good experience and really good money. And we're going to need a lot of money. Oh, uh, god dang green jelly. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Really appreciative if anybody got, got that reference. I head over here. Well, this area looks a little bit suspicious. First things first, you definitely want to go up here. Kill the green, the kid goblin. All right, got him. All right. We're gonna hit the switch. There we go. It drops this little block. Can't go anywhere else. So let's head back down. And see if anything changed. 
Hey, happy music. All right. So, where are we? Hey, dwarves, this must be Guy's Navel. Oh, a sprite child came down here. Well, we'll just have to check that out now, won't we? All right. Well, that's a new little sign, so we'll check that out later. First things first, definitely go over here. You have an item and an armor shop. And since we all know dwarves make great armor, let's see what kind of stuff they have to sell. All right. Um, definitely want a power blade eventually, but first, I'll definitely want a spike suit for my uh, hero, Randy, and a helmet. Really good. Um, let's see. 262. Yeah, we're good. Uh, I'll be seeing you. First things first, let's equip our new gear. Look at how much... Ooh, two to seven. Very nice. Go to our spike suit. I probably could have waited for the spike suit. Yeah, really good. That three points goes a long way. Longer than you think. <laughs> Never mind. Um, okay, I definitely want to keep that other elbow pad. Um, sell a chain vest. Yeah, I'm going to sell a chain vest. All right. And I think I'm going to sell my headband because, I don't, yeah, the only person I could equip headband is... Oh, uh, Randy. And he's got something better. So, yeah, there we go. Be seeing you. Hey, there's a door over here. I wonder what's in this place. Uh, let's go this way first. Into this cave. And inside. Hey. Some kind of show about to start. The Dwarf Village's famous exhibit? Uh, sure, I'll pay it. Let's take a look. I mean, I got plenty of money. Alright. Who's first? The Rabit Man. Take a Rabit and a man, combine them. It's Rabit Burn! Well, it's not really Rabit Man, but. Okay, the Sprite Child. Hey, some more Sprite Bunch I've heard about. So they've been casting tricks on people. Oh. 50,000? Wow, what the heck did he do wrong? Well, I mean, I'll see what I can do. You know what? I'll throw it. You know, if it helps him out, you know, he's got a ways to go, or it. Can't really distinguish whether it's male or female, or what kind of gender. Now it's a sprite, so let's go over here and see if we can, you know, give him some well wishes. Say, hey, we got your back. Well, wait, an actor? I wasn't crying. You little jerk! He did play a trick on me. He stole my money. Yeah, he is a sprite child. Oh, a flood. Okay. To return home, it's not gonna cost that much to return home. Thank you for giving me my money back. Yeah. But as long as you have 150 gold, yeah, you should be pretty good. Because like I said, you'll just get it back. But you definitely do need to trigger this event for something that's going to happen a little later. Now that we've done this, let's see if we can find somebody to forge that sword of ours. I mean, if anyone can forge an item, it's got to be a dwarf, right? Right? Right. All right. Hey, this looks like a blacksmith. Yeah. What? The blacksmith. Um, Hunter Guild? Gold? Sure. Here. Here you go. Work that metal, dude. Work it, work it. Yeah. There we go. Well, it is the mana sword. Your hammer started to glow. Is that a mana, mana item now? Yeah. So, can I use it? Oh, you're going to make me an axe? Oh, awesome. You cut some trees. Wait, what's that noise? What on earth? Well, we're under the earth. What is that noise? Something's coming. Whatever it could be for boss battle time against. Wait up, Tropicolo! Oh, watch out! Tropicolo can be kind of tricky. Um, they like said those pumpkins can actually blow up and do a little bit of damage between like five and fifteen. But you definitely want to stand at the edge and get your shots in. He has around, I think, around three hundred HP, if I'm not mistaken. Now he has two parts where he actually has the form of Tropicolo right there. But you also notice that little vine sticking out. That vine can do a little bit of damage, but unfortunately can also poison you. Now, if you want to, you can actually kill the little bud from where the vine comes out at. Unfortunately, it'll just regenerate. So what you want to do, kind of avoid the pumpkins as you gain um, your 100% weapon. And try and get your damage in a Tropicolo. Unfortunately, like I said, he can drop a couple of pumpkin bombs for him. Um, I do suggest having at least one um, candy before fighting this battle, just in case he does become a bit of a pain and do you a little bit more damage than you can handle. Um, it's always good to just have an out. As like I said, you don't have any magic to heal you or anything. But just go around here, do your damage to Tropicolo, try and avoid the pumpkin bombs and, and the vine. Eh, it's not that difficult. I guess this would be the lint inside Gaia's navel. And you see, unfortunately, the vine can poison you or get you into a status lock like this. 
Ugh, I might have to heal myself. Shouldn't have that much damage left. I think we're doing okay. I did do a preview fight of this fight and I actually lost, which surprised me. That's why I'm always suggesting, you know, get a little bit of a, um, one healing item at least. Just in case Tropicolor decides to be a bit of a butt. But he shouldn't have that much HP left. We're doing pretty good damage. Okay, down to 23. Okay, now the, the vine's retracting. Okay, gonna shake and pop up. Okay. Another 28. See so if we can avoid this pumpkin bomb. Now I got two pumpkin bombs. Holy crap. God dang it. Hit him. There we go. Bye bye, Tropicolo. Looks like I turned that Tropicolo into a tropical punch. Wow, that was a really bad pun. I tried, though, but hooray! We defeated him. It. Tropicolo. Whatever you want to call it. Yay! Way to go! And we gained a level. Very nice. Between him with the Spears Orb. Yeah, there's actually um, orbs for all the different weapons you can get, so that's really nice. Definitely going to want to try and take an upgrade for that. And see if old Watts has enough um, stuff to actually give us an axe. But we definitely want to gear up our new friend here. So, yeah, you're coming with me, buddy. Oh. You know what? I will. See if he can kind of jog the little little creature's memory. But first things first. Uh, brother. Yeah, I'm Randy, dude. So I got to give this thing a name. So let's see what we're going to name the sprite. We're going to name it the Japanese name, which is Po Poi. Po boy or po boy. Oh, that makes me want to pull away from back home. I missed food from back home. But anyway, more friends with po boy, the sprite child. Um, he's actually going to be your um combat mage. He's carried all his spells, do all either damage or debuffs. He is really, really nice. He's gonna be a ultimate boss killer. But to get out of here, first things first, let's talk to this individual. Yeah, so first we have to go to Elaine's castle and ask you to break the seal. She used to be a good witch. Not a bad witch. She was a good witch. Uh, and we get a free pair of bone arrows. Very nice. Our first ranged items. Hopefully he's got our axe ready. So I can ask him a question. <laughs> now if we go here, this is actually the way to the underground palace. But you see it's blocked off and we have to have a magic spell to actually access it. Which we don't have magic yet. But we will. Soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. And first we're going to head up here. But has Watts finally finished our axe? And we, can we use it to actually access Alini's castle and find out where the heck Prim went? Find out next time on Let's Play Secret of Mana! Should you have a little host? Shadowblade730. If you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, and maybe throw in a comment or two. And I will see you all next adventure. Take it easy. Bum, 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 bum.